Hey guys, how y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Same goes to your family. Hope you're out there healthy and safe. So for this one, um, yeah, as you can see, we're already, fi uh, we're already finished with our fourth material study, which is magma and lava. But we'll get there. Don't worry. So today I'm going to share with you tree bark. Uh, I hope you guys will learn a thing or two and enjoy. So yeah, see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for supporting, guys. You guys are the best. Love you. So I'm going to pick my standard round brush. Um, usually when I start painting, that's like my go-to brushes. You can find that in one of the uh, Photoshop presets as well. Okay, I am going to start by just making shapes right now. Because I'm still not sure how it's going to go down. I'm just putting on the shapes just to give me an idea. I, I'm i not going to use the gray sphere underneath. I'm just uh, using it as a guide right now because all my uh, material studies are going to be done with a sphere. So that would make things a lot, a lot easier. Okay, so this will be the top. Like, you know, you chop down uh, a tree, and then they have these tree stumps that you can see. The inside are like light brown a little, with a little bit of red ish. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, the bottom, I'm gonna go for a dark gray with a little bit of brown hue, but mostly I'm going to go with a dark gray. Hmm, let's go to my brush presets. This is uh, the shortcut key for this is F5. Or you can also look at this here. You can see this icon. You click on it and it will pop up. But I usually use F5. I hardly use this at all. Uh, I'm going to go for this one. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit elliptical. And you can even... Uh, adjust the angle here so let's see all right uh, let's go with a black I'm just gonna keep the brush presets open for now because I'm not sure uh, I can change the angle a little and make it thinner okay um, So you can see this starting to paint on it. Um, I'm trying to make the outline, the bark texture, and maybe make it a little, a little more powerful. This is kind of like a first for me, and I find that really, I find this project a little fun and challenging at the same time. So. I um in I'm not sure if you watched my video. I I made a video about ten uh, about the things I wish I knew starting out as a self-taught artist, and one of them is um believe it or not, learning the fundamentals. Ding ding ding! Don't hate me, man. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. If you want to be good at anything gotta at least know the fundamentals and yeah um, in terms of texture I pretty much suck at it so this is me trying to learn I've seen I don't know how I came across this study uh, maybe I think it's deviant art I guess when you see uh, other people's postings and then I see their postings about this and then I was like uh, yeah okay that looks really interesting, like like some of them are look really good and some of them look really good and like wow, it, it kinda looks like a whole like a scientist collecting uh different species and materials found on Earth or something like that. I really like digital art. I like that it is so flexible. I mean, there are some things that you can't do with traditional art, actually. A lot of things you can't do with traditional art. Like, 
Okay, for one, I think digital art is really, really cheap in terms of uh, cost. Like, if you were, uh, like, if you're a traditional artist, you would have to buy paint, canvas, not to mention that those things are very limited, so you have to buy them again when you run out. But digital art is never ending. You can make how many digital canvas you want, and all it, all of the effort it takes is just you moving your fingers, clicking on the buttons, and you need electricity. And of course, not to mention the technology. But in the long run, uh, digital art is more cost effective. But I don't know. There's just there's always something about. Ah, sorry. I'm just uh. I'm moving on to the lighter parts, like, okay, mm, I'm looking at my reference photo, there's like a lot of this <coughs> polka, dot, polka dot effects, um, nah, I, I quite like this little squiggly, squiggly design going on. It's, um, it's more towards the gray. There is a little bit of brown hue into it, but for the most part, it's going to be gray. Like, you see a lot of trees. They're not, like, full-blown... Sorry, not red. Brown. What am I talking? It's Sorry, it's 12 a.m. in the morning. And... Okay, taking my dark brown. Trying to go over... gonna add just a little bit of orangey brown it really looks like a fruit don't it like like some special orange you can get overseas or you know outside another world maybe okay I can use this brown I'm gonna make a brown uh, okay, let's go for the elliptical brush again. I like it because it's a bit hard. Uh, but it's not too hard like the hard round brush. That one, I think it's a bit too much. Huh, okay, this is better. This reddish, rusty brown looks pretty good. Alright, beautiful. Okay, wait, sorry. I'm gonna go back to the standard round brush. I think, I guess, on second thought, that one looks a little nicer. Alright, uh, oops. Yeah, with the orangey brush here. And go a little bit of that. Okay, and, uh, some nice, nice, uh, outer rim here. Yeah, something like that. This time I have a reference photo, so I'm not going to screw it up like I did the other time. Uh, this is like uh, the second time I'm doing this because the first one was not very good. Trust me. It was really bad. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna create a new layer. So it's Control Shift N. New layer. I rarely bother to name it. Like only I know is gonna be a uh, full on new layer. Not gonna mess with that. Then I'll name it. This one I'm definitely gonna merge the layers together. So I don't really care. I'm going to give it a little crack. Um, okay, and um, make a little highlight there because it's a crack. Mm. And make a, a little bit of dark spots. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. No, no, it's not nice. Uh, this one. Um, somewhere. I think here is a bit too dark. I'm gonna make it slightly not too defined. Okay, I'm calling this done. Hope you guys like it. Oops. Get all yellow. Tree bark. Put it over here. Okay. Yay! Second one complete. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, long as video with voiceover. Hopefully, I'm not too boring for you guys. And um, yeah. I think that's about it for today. I'm definitely going to do the next one. I hope I am planning to finish all this. And it so far it has been a very, very helpful exercise. I do recommend you guys try it too. So, yep, that's all. See you guys in the next video.